What is up guys, it's been a while since I've made a new hair video or hair type tutorial video and I said why not do another one especially since I've gotten a new haircut kind of shorter than I usually keep it. With the new season here, summer, why not try something new, right? I'm going to show you guys how I got this haircut, the dimensions that you should cut it at if you want to get something similar. Of course you won't get the same type of cut especially if you don't have the same type of hair but if you have the dimensions there and how to style it and everything you'll get similar results so i don't want to make this intro too long i'm going to show you the dimensions with me speaking and i'm going to show you them basically i'm going to show you the dimensions of me speaking while i'm showing you the dimensions and then i'm also going to show you the dimensions without me speaking and just put the numbers up there in case you forget and then I'm going to show you how I style it. You only need two styling products for this and I'm going to show you later in the video. And that's pretty much it. So let's get to it. So I'll do this pretty quickly. The side you do it only with a razor at a 4. And then the rest you go in with the scissors, you trim it, get everything evened up. But a little bit shorter here and a little bit longer here. But that's with scissors. All around is with a 4. On the top, longest is at the front obviously. That goes down to a little bit under the middle of my nose. Inch wise, I'd say around five inches maximum. And then it goes down about an inch going back. And for the back, nothing special again, just shorter at the bottom with scissors and a razor and a trimmer at the neck. And that's pretty much it. Let's go to the next section. First, what you'll need is coconut oil, it doesn't matter what you use, just put a little bit on your fingertips, start rubbing it through your hands, then you'll start putting it through your hair. Make sure you get it on every strand. This is for heat protection as well as nourishing your hair through the blow drying process. Once the coconut oil is in, you'll want to use a heat protectant. I recommend Tresemme brand or this one that I'm showing in the video. I've been using it for years now and just spray it all the way through your hair. Get six sprays in there and rub it through your hair. Make sure it goes all the way through. After that, you'll want to line your hair to the position you'll be blow drying. Make a line on the side if you want to follow my style and just brush it back to how you're going to be blow drying it. So what you'll need is a hair dryer and a ROM brush. The ROM brush you're going to see why later, so let's start hair drying. After the hair drying it's round brush time and this is to give you her hair a little bit of a texture but also keeping it smooth and not frizzy it basically strain, uh, strains out every strain of your hair i don't do this so i can get it curly or fluffed up i just do a little bit so i just get more straighter hair and more softer hair So what I use is Anti-Gravity by Kevin Murphy, it's an oil-free volumizer. Just get a little bit on your hands, apply it on your hair from the back to the front, get it on every strand. Again, it doesn't matter what you use, just make sure you use something that you like texture-wise and material-wise. What really matters is the pre-styling, the blow-drying, and everything that comes before the styling. This is just to keep your hair in place and give you another texture or type of shine. Thank mm -hmm. you. 